good morning. There's my there's little Adam down there. He's uh, resting comfortably. Going to take him out for a little exercise today. Uh, <laughs> good morning. <clears throat> so anyway, see if there's anything interesting in the dumpster. Well, I'm not wearing the boots today. I've got some sneakies on. Uh, not too much. Just uh, somebody threw their uh, somebody threw their uh, air filter there for the furnace in the. Uh, I don't want that. <laughs> my sh leaving my shared apartment. You know what I'm saying? I got an apartment here and I do share it with another person, okay? And we pretty much keep to ourselves, you know, that's it, you know? We have rooms on opposite ends of the apartment, so it's very quiet. He can make noise, I can make noise, we don't, ma you know, it's very quiet. Uh, you know, I do, you know, we do watch the news together, I do... My friend and I will watch the news together. We've known each other for 40 years. So, you know, we're just very good. We know each other very well. We've just been friends for 40 years. And, and you know, he retired. And so he said, hey, you want to move in? You know, it's a nice apartment. But, you know, I, I wouldn't mind paying half the rent. <laughs> you know, and, you know, it is true. If you have a shared apartment with somebody you trust and like, uh, it's half the rent. It's half the rent. Half the electric bill, half all the utilities, half. You know, your price of living there is half of what it would be if you were living there by yourself. I don't know. So, you know, I don't know. Anyway, look at little Adam. Again, little Adam's covered with a dreaded green dust. <laughs> but I, I, you know, it's like I've had a lot of... Uh, Criticisms and crazy things leveled at me over the years here on the Camo Dave channel and before it when I was running and I'm, when I still am running DCRTV.com and the one the one crit, one thing that nobody's ever slammed me for is living in a shared apartment. You know, most of you people probably live with someone else. You know, some of you live alone, I'm sure, but you know, you have a wife or a husband or a girlfriend or a boyfriend or something. Is it is that on you? So you know, we all like to you know share our lives, right? It's kind of nice, you know, getting up and, you know, knowing that there's someone else around, you know. I always thought when I, I did live alone for a good many years, I was living in my condo. And, uh, you know, uh, there you always think of that thing like, well, what if I just collapsed here on the floor? Nobody would know, right? <laughs> you know, I mean, really, they wouldn't. They wouldn't know. What if I just collapsed here on the floor and I was paralyzed and I couldn't get up and I just lay here? I could, maybe I had a, an S-T-R-O-K-E or something or something happened and I just, I just lay here. At least if you have somebody else in the apartment, they'll stumble over you and trip over you and go, oh, what are you doing laying here? And then maybe they'll uh, call 911 or something. You know, I mean, that, that's, a, you know, that's a comforting thought. What if I just don't get out of bed for a day? You know, for, I, mean, I don't know. I always thought of that. You know, I could just collapse here and be incapacitated in my solo apartment and uh, and uh, nobody know. <laughs> they wouldn't know. There was one day I was working on, I was trying to do something behind my washing machine in my old apartment, uh, my old condo, and I got my hands stuck back there and I couldn't get out and I couldn't reach the phone. And I'm like, you know, and I'm like, nobody would hear me if I shouted, help! So, um, what would, you know, what would I do? You know, at least if there's somebody else you're living with, pops by occasionally to kind of get a, do a Pop-Tart or something, or, you know, something out of the microwave, they'll let's stay, hey, what are you doing there with your arm behind the washing machine? Well, it's stuck back here, I can't get it out. Anyway, okay. Anyway, so I don't know. I do live in a shared apartment, and I and I like it. You know, and again, it's all about what you like, right? If sharing an apartment, I can imagine sharing an apartment with somebody you don't like. Yeah, that would not be a good thing. That would not be a good thing. Uh, and you're miserable, and you hate each other, and and whether it's a boyfriend, girlfriend, just plain old friend, whatever. You know, I, yeah, that would be miserable, and you'd want to get out of that. But to just simply say that, oh. Everybody that lives in a shared apartment. Yeah, for this particular person that criticized me for living in a shared apartment, I get it. <laughs> you know, you had a bad experience living in a shared apartment, so now you assume that everybody else who shares their apartment 
is going to have a bad experience with that. And that's not the case, okay? You, you know, you do put your experience over everybody else and then judge everybody else by how you've experienced life. You had a bad experience sharing an apartment, so you assume that everybody else who shares an apartment is going to be miserable. And it's not the case. You know, I could definitely see situations where if you have a shared living arrangement, even with its husband and wife in a house, in a condo, on a boat, in a van, uh, it could be miserable. You know, they say that is really a test of your relationship is when you live in really close spaces. They were saying that. I was a number of nomads have said that when you live together, say in a van. I know. I remember. Remember Evie, Evie Nova, and um, Eddie. What is his name? Eddie. Um, Oh God, what was into the mist? Jed, Jed, I want to call him Eddie. Jed and Evie, into the Mystery 13 and Evie Nova's channel. Um, they talked about that. They, they lived in very close quarters there, I think in a, a van for quite a while there. And it is difficult, you know? Even if you love each other, it's kind of like, <sighs> but even if you love each other, it's kind of like, hard to do that you know if you're two people you want you want everybody wants a little bit of private time and i think you know the secret to a shared apartment is that both of you have your own private spaces you know you do have a place where you can get away from the other person and for a while or whatever you know i, I think that's important and that's what we have at my place you know his room, my room, separate, totally separate spaces, and then we have a common area, and, you know, any time you want to, you know, get quiet and get away from the other person, it's just a couple steps away, and you're not, our rooms do not, like, border each other, so if he makes noise, if I make noise, if I'm sitting there cackling incredibly insanely at YouTube videos, I'm not bothering him, you know, and separate bathrooms, that's also a, a good thing if you are doing a shared apartment. That's also a good thing. Even if you are boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. I've even heard that about a lot of marriages. One of the things that uh, keeps a marriage going longer is a shared, a shared is, is having separate bathrooms. I believe um, Johnny Cash and June Carter, whatever her name was, they, I think someone asked them, how, do you, how, did your, how did your marriage so successful? And she said, there's one reason, separate bathrooms. So, you know, you can do it. Shared apartment, shared life. A lot of people share their lives. You know, it's not something that's like, you know, no, we're not all out there, you know, living solo lives, you know. And just because you have a bad solo experience or several of them or whatever doesn't mean everyone's going to do that. I don't know. You know, I've never been married. I've never wanted to be married. But I, for some reason, it doesn't bother me to share an apartment in the right situation with the right person. Uh, you know, it, it does save you a lot of money, you know? And, you know, I mean, really. I mean, I'm getting pretty much the use of the entire apartment with the exception of the other bedroom. Oh, there's Santa Claus. Hi. Holy cow. There's Bob. Everywhere, there's always a Bob. You know, you can't go anywhere without a Bob. Do you notice that? You go to the Walmart, you go to the go out the park, there's always somebody that looks like Bob Wells. He, there are Bob Wells clones all over the place and I'm a little worried about it. Anyway, shared apartment. If you do it right with a person that you know and you trust, uh, it can be a really good thing, okay? So uh, don't believe what you hear from these experts because they don't you know they judge everything through their own eyes and a lot of times what happens in your life is not what's happening in everyone else's life and you got to realize that it's called stereotyping right right all right that's it shared apartment oh i live in a share apartment vlog under <laughs>